Welcome to another episode of TLDR here on the Hardy Geek YouTube channel. Now on Fridays. It used to be Tuesdays, now it's Fridays. For reasons. Yeah. So, this week we're talking about Army of Darkness. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Part of a trilogy that I didn't realize it was a part of until after I had seen this one a number of times and then my buddy Joe, who's also here on the Heart of Geek, said, uh, you know it's part of a trilogy, right? And I went, excuse me? And then we ended up watching Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, and the Army of Darkness all in a row. I keep calling it the Army of Darkness. It's just Army of Darkness. I don't know why I do that. But yes, and as the whole story progresses from Evil Dead to Evil Dead 2, to Army of Darkness, it goes from horror to horror with comedic elements to a comedy with horror elements. And I think, honestly, the best balance of the two is in Evil Dead 2, but we're not talking about that movie today, we're talking about Army of Darkness. So, why is this movie so great? One, uh, Bruce Campbell is in it. It's like, you, that gets like a three out of five just for that. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a bit biased on my scale. Like, anything with Bruce Campbell in it, I will watch just because it has Bruce Campbell in it. Like, he's half the reason I started watching Burn Notice, which is a great show, by the way. If you haven't seen it, it's like completely done. It's been done for years. You can binge watch the whole thing. It's all great. And, uh... Yeah, anything with Bruce Campbell automatically gets a nod from me. Bubba Hotep, uh, all of these movies, Burn Notice, a bunch of B-movies that are just great. It's all ridiculous, and it's all just a really fun time. Uh, why else? Because it's a Sam Raimi flick. Sam Raimi does good movies. Like, the first two Spider-Man movies are great, and the third one would have been great if not for studio interference, and... If, like, they didn't want him to shoehorn Venom in there and he just was able to tell the story he wanted to tell, I'm pretty sure we'd still be watching Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies to this day. Sorry, they'd probably be in the fold of the MCU by now, but I think he'd just still have the reins because he told a good story that emphasized those characters. And that's what Army of Darkness is because it, just like the Evil Dead movies, Evil Dead 1 and 2, their whole story is Ash's story. And even though he's surrounded by a bunch of other characters that have something to do in these movies, it is Ash's story. And he's not a great hero. Like, he, in Evil Dead 1 and 2, he's just the guy that kind of got swept up in all of it. And then in Army of Darkness, he got swept up out of there, sucked into a portal, and thrown into the past. So, yeah, he's swept into this one, too. And, yeah, he's in medieval times now, so he goes from being kind of an okay, not very smart dude in the present to, like, the smartest guy in the room back then because everybody's kind of dumb because they can barely read, if that, and they have no idea any of the stuff that he has in the present that he brought to the past with him that got sucked in the portal. So, not only is he kind of dumb, which actually leads into what happens in this whole thing, because just like in the first two Evil Dead movies, I'm sorry, spoiler alert for 40-year-old movies, uh, Ash kind of causes things to go bad. Like... He could do the one thing that he needed to do and get it right, and then it would be like a five minute long movie because he just does it and it gets done and he goes home. But Ash isn't the smartest guy. He doesn't realize he's not the smartest guy. And the guy's like, hey, how about you go here to this place, say these words, bickety bam, you're home. And of course, he messes that up, so he takes a small problem and he makes it a huge problem. 
and then he has to spend the rest of the movie figuring out how to get that whole problem done so he can go home. And that whole conceit of this entire movie just makes it some of the most entertaining, ridiculous stuff you have ever seen. Like, if you've ever seen Evil Dead 1 and 2, you'll know in Evil Dead 2, Ash loses a hand. And it's one of the most entertaining sequences. Actually, I, I'm going to say it right now, it's my favorite sequence in that entire movie. He ends up having to cut off his own hand. And in this one, he, he engineers like a new basically robot hand in out of a gauntlet and some stuff and he's just like eh, sure whatever and so not only does he have this super strong like bionic hand but he's also got his chainsaw like he used in evil dead too and he and with those two weapons alone and his weird know-how and the books that he had in his trunk he's able to construct a bunch of wild stuff and take a bunch of people who don't know anything about the Deadites because the Deadites didn't exist until he basically brought them back. Well, brought them back meaning he did the thing with the book, but nobody had ever really dealt with them on as big a scale as he accidentally screwed up and did. And he just straight up does that and then he has to fight them and enlist these people and he's like, hopefully we don't die. And ends up having to fight a messed up zombie version of himself who's kind of a douche. And that makes you go, okay, well, that's based on him. I know that's like evil Ash, but is, the, is he as douchey as Ash is? Because Ash is kind of a douche at times in this movie and the previous ones. So it's like, okay, sure, uh... Ash is kind of a douche, but he's the reluctant hero, and by now he's just, like, tired, and he just wants to go home, and it's so much fun. I keep saying that. I keep going, it's so much fun. You need to watch it, and even though I'm spoiling a lot of the plot points here, some of you have already seen it, or else you wouldn't be watching this video, but any of you that I'm spoiling plot points for... I think, honestly, once you see it, you're going to be like, oh, I'm not even worried because it's so much fun to watch from beginning to end. It's ridiculous. And then by the end of it, you're just like, ha, ah, ah. And, you know, because it's 2020 now, you know that uh, Army of Darkness isn't the end of things because they had a series called Ash vs. Evil Dead, which was a, like, basically series that was a sequel to these movies and it was really fun i think it got canceled kind of before its time but i mean you can tell bruce campbell was having fun with it everybody else that was on the show was having fun with it and it was crazy and weird and like it just fit in with the rest of this universe but we're not talking about that we're talking about this movie but if anything if if any of the stuff that I've said here means anything to you, it basically just means this. Watch this movie. And if you can, watch the first one, the second one, and this one. You're not going to have a bad time. Uh, you know what? I'll even say it. Watch the reboot one. Uh, it was also pretty freaking good. Uh, I might do a video about that one down the line. Think about doing one where I take the uh, an original movie and compare it to the reboot and see which one is better. And that might be the first one, Evil Dead versus Evil Dead. Uh, but yeah, watch this movie. Watch the whole trilogy. Watch everything Bruce Campbell has ever done. Because, sure, why not? I mean, Bruce Campbell is awesome. I have an autographed copy of his autobiography upstairs is on my bookshelf i read that every once in a while because he just had a really interesting life. has had a really interesting life he's not dead yet but uh bruce campbell just seems like a good dude kind of kind of silly uh interesting guy his memoir was really freaking good uh 
But yeah, now I'm just gushing about, about Bruce Campbell, and I could do that all day, but I'm not. Anyway, go watch these movies. Watch all of them. It, uh, yeah, it, the first one is going to be total horror, and it's from the 70s, so it's all like practical effects and weird. And then the second one is more comedy, but it's still pretty dark. And then Army of Darkness is more comedic with a little bit of horror. So if that's more your taste, I'd just stick with Army of Darkness because it holds up on its own. But with that, I'm going to say that that's the end of this video. If you like videos like this, go ahead and hit subscribe. Give me a like. It's the blue thumbs up over there. Uh, right next to subscribe, there's a bell that'll give you notifications for when these videos come out so you know when to come back. Uh, and, well, while you're down there, throw in the comments your favorite Bruce Campbell movie or your favorite horror movie or whatever you feel like throwing down in the comments, even if it's telling me that these videos are weird and the lighting needs to change or something because I know I've got big shiny forehead. But anyway, with that, uh, if you like these, also, go to our website, theheartofgeek.com. We got a bunch of stuff there to include all of these videos, links to our podcasts, which are on Anchor, but they, it connects to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, a whole bunch of other stuff. And then you can also see links to our Twitch and our live D&D stream that used to be every Saturday, but then with recent events is going to now be every Tuesday when these videos used to be at, at I think like eight o'clock at night. We'll keep you posted uh, on our Facebook and our Twitter and our Instagram. And with that, I will say, I hope you have a great day, a great week, a great month and a great year. Bye bye.